Good. It's not because you like model to race, it's because your car here, no, it's an import and whatnot. Is it yep. your vehicle? Uh, it's hers. Yeah, hi, how are you? Uh, have you got your license to insurance with you today? Yep. Please, please, please. Yeah, that's scary. Is this the, the vehicle's modified within the MVA Is specifications. It? Did anybody inspect it and say it was okay? You got inspected after you did the modification? Yep. Where's the death and certificate? I did it like three years ago. I've been driving like this for years. Yep, uh, what was your name? My name? Yep. My name is Lee. Lee Buckingham. My badge is 1864. Okay, Mr. Buckingham. State to me your name and date of birth, please. Yeah, I'm just making sure I have the right one. Is that the August 21? Yeah. I think that's it. Where's the bin on your imported car? On the uh, door somewhere? Or uh, it's, you know where it is? It, I actually, uh, it's right. The plaque came off when I was repainting. Oh, here, just let me get it. I got it. So you've got a vehicle with a detached bin plate on it? There's another VIN as well okay. that matches this VIN. Do you know VIN. where that one is? Yes, I also know where that, that one is. That one? It's in the engine bay. On the engine bay. On the engine block or the engine structure, it's the car structure itself? Right underneath where the wipers are kind right. of so right there. it's on the engine body rather than the okay. engine itself. It's on the car body. Yeah, there's yeah. there's one on the body and then one on the VIN plate. Because often there's different numbers on the engine and the bodies, but the one yeah. that matches that is on the car body. Yes, oh. yeah, 100%. Since you had it inspected three years ago, this vehicle has not had any changes or modifications since no, then. No, it has, but okay. it's still it's still modified I to the MVA. I can barely get my fingers through the outside of the wheel on the wheel though. Since it gets you to some of my fingers are low. That's your fingers aren't the MVA though. The MVA is very specific and it's only on the front. Yeah, I hear you. That's no four wheels sufficient clearance. And yes. I'm using my fingers as a yardstick for distance. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. It's just the bin plate in the car you had. Yeah, that bin plate. Thank you, sir. You're getting a box two for this one, just for the wheel clearance alone. Not a box one, a box two today. So, what is the other infraction? Because you need two infractions for the I box mean, two. I need one infraction. I need mean, to leave well, leaving doodly. That's all I need. So, you only need. Cool. It's not burnt out, it's an LED. I was in a car accident. It's going in to be repaired right away. It, it is still on. You want high beams? That That is, that is, like what it is right now is nighttime driving lamps. They're on all the time. Yes. Yeah, um, I have like the the shop has a brand new light. The left one was a JDM light, which yeah. I got replaced to be USDM equivalent. Turn your lights in the off position. Okay, leave them that way. Yep. Yeah. Pardon? E brake on and turn your engine off. E brake on, engine off. And just turn your engine on again for me.
Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's gonna be fixed. Pardon? Brand new, all brand new brakes, so. Brand new as in. And you've got the uh, exhaust, which is non stock on the back, but it looks to have a muffler on it, but it's welded on and whatnot. But yeah, that's not the it's, exhaust. It is within the decibel that. Well. It's in the decibel, just talking about the exhaust itself. Yeah. Within a minute, okay? Yep, and it also does have a cat. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's an expensive aftermarket high flow cat, but it's within spec. So. Oh yeah. I mean, is all this really necessary? Nope. They're just profiling. What was the point of checking all the lights? To make sure I'm legal. There's so many vehicles out here that definitely deserve to be pulled over. But because I have a sports car, or sporty car. Well, it probably also because of the damage, it's more noticeable. He didn't pull me over for the damage. No. He pulled me over because he thought it was too low. And it's within specifications, so... I know, as soon as he comes with the thing, it's going to say, uh... Get it checked out at a Subaru dealership. <laughs> when it, it's illegal, well, not illegal. They shouldn't be writing where I have to go to get it checked. Any shop that's allowed to legally inspect a car can inspect yeah. any car. That's one of their tactics, is they want you to go go to the one that will vote in their favor or whatever or lie about it. Yeah. It's just a big ploy to get all our money. Somehow you'll have to get this bin plate attached back on the car officially. I have to rivet it's it back to be on. Like not remove last. What stops the car ringer gang squads from doing their thing? They're not supposed to remove them when they are. They're supposed to become damaged. So you're fortunate it's remained intact. That's good. I also I'm have the bin number I don't want to lose in there. That. I'm not going to write you any tickets for any of the minor infractions regarding the lamps and the suspension and whatnot because they start at $109 each. I'm aware. Each infraction. Say you had four or five infractions. $550 is a lot of money. I'm I can't afford that. I'm not going to write any tickets for you because we both know what we're talking about. Yep. And of course, you've got aftermarket Recaro race seats in there too. With we don't know. We don't know if they've been fitted properly. If the correct torque's in there, the mechanic will sort all that out. They so are you, specific. I'm Forester. You. Yep. So I'm hearing you. So I'm writing you what's called a vehicle inspector notice and order. Yep. As you know, there's no fine. 
there's no points on your license for it and some of the obvious things I'm asking the mechanic just to look for when you take it into any Subaru dealership of your choosing well, for inspection. It's, it's any inspection facility. Sure. It's, I don't have to sure. go... Listen to me, it's very important you understand this. I, I'm understanding understand, what you're saying, but... Sir, please stop talking, listen to me, because I don't want you to get this wrong, sir. Under section 7.08 of the Motor Vehicle Act regulations, yep. I as a police officer in the province of British Columbia directing you to take this vehicle to any Subaru dealership as a DIF. Sure. I've even written it on there. If you want to take it or not, it's up to you, but if you don't, and you get stopped subsequently and it's passed and you don't take it to Subaru, you're looking at a 509, $596 fine with plates off and the car towed. So the I'm back, aware. The back end of enforcement is not at the front end. I'm aware. So some of the things like fit, fit the VIN plate. Yep. There's no DRLs on that side, no high beams, no regular driving lamps on that side because of the mismatch of the lamps and you know about that. Yep. I just check the suspension, maybe raise it up at the back a little bit so you've got sufficient clearance. Low suspension that can be addressed by raising or lower. If you've got coilovers, I don't know. It's it's and about the same size the as regular. Pass it, not yeah. The oh yeah. No. You know that. I know. And I'm not writing any way any tickets as you know. Yeah. Any questions for leave you today? Um, is there any way I can get reimbursed for the inspection? No, or? the government doesn't reimburse anybody for any inspection. It's out of your own pocket, unfortunately. The government is of the opinion in BC that you're responsible for the vehicle, and should it deviate in any way or form from the motor vehicle act regulations, then you have to pay the bill for the inspection, so I don't believe they, rec they recompense you for it. Okay, so yeah. if I get it inspected and, it and passes, then you it have passes, to put the bill. but what if I get pulled over like this again and well, get inspected just, well, again? Say you get pulled over within an hour from now by the mounties and you know, whatever, or you just show them that the offers already, they would know, and they, they're not going to write you another one of these because you've already got a notice and order, yeah. and you've got 30 days to get it inspected. I mean after. After it gets well, inspected. after it's inspected, you're telling me it's going to pass, you'll have a decal in the windshield yeah. and a certificate, and if they ask you to see it, you'll show them the deckel and the certificate of passing, and they'll make the determination, and they'll investigate. Well, I, I know some of your other officers have been uh, taking a knife to people's windshield and cutting stickers off, so I'm just concerned what is stopping have you guys from doing this. Have seen officers take out knives and cut decals from windshields? Yes. <laughs> what do they do? They actually scrape the decal number off, but they don't probably use a knife or they don't actually cut I, decals I've off. Seen, I've seen Kane do it, so... Well, I yep. work with I work with the officer. Oh, Kane. I know, I know. I work with him, and I clearly see him. He doesn't use a knife to scrape. No, he to scratch the number. No, I, I saw him peel off an entire sticker they off the windshield. Off. I was the number, I was there. I saw the him do it. Number can be but. defaced or erased, but that's what it probably is. Any questions for I leave you today? Nope. No, nope, that's about it. Yep. No questions about your VI. Nope. There you go. And there's your license. And you drive. Sorry. And you drive safe. Okay. Yeah. Always do. Yep. That just happened.